Hi everyone, I'm here to show you the Plum 360 IV Infusion Pump. Now this pump may be different than what you use at your agency or hospital. This one is specific to Essentia Health in Minnesota. So make sure you check your pump for brand, manufacturer recommendations, uh, make sure you're in adherence with protocols, and make sure you know who in your agency or uh, facility is the pump expert that can help you with any troubleshooting. So I've taken the liberty of spiking a bag up here. Uh, for our purposes here, we'll assume it's a 250 cc bag. We did have to put the IV tubing on, a special IV pump tubing. This is called a cassette. And to bleed it, you have to pull this white tab out and squeeze the bag and it bleeds the bag and clears the tubing. With that ready, we want to turn on our pump. Now, for the sake of our scenario here, we're going to say that we're going to give a levofed, which is also known as norepinephrine. And here it comes in a four milligram and four cc vial or ampule, actually. So our protocol is to draw that entire four cc's up, inject it into the 250 cc bag and agitate it up, shake it up. And then we're going to put the cassette into our pump. So we open the door with the lever and this little white piece here needs to go into that hole there. So we need to line it up just right. Pop the cassette in, close the door, shut the latch, and then it goes through a little self-check. If you notice over here, uh, that is a complete list of facilities and Oh, it looks like I have an occlusion here. How fortuitous for our teaching. Uh, so you can see here the tubing is uh, kinked over. So let's do that. Open the door, shut it again, and see if that is cleared. Now it's testing the cassette again. And this time it works. So now what we'll do is we'll do the right thing so that we can avoid uh, getting our tubing kicked off. And you can see there's an A and B here. I'm gonna put the tubing in the A. And that's so that we know which medication is going into which line and which program. You can put up to two drips in here. So we've chosen the slot A. And now that we've gotten the right place, we won't run into the kinked tubing. So. As I was saying before, over here are hospitals and facilities that we commonly go to. We're gonna page down and we're gonna look for SS slash ML, and that's Sandstone Moose Lake Emergency Department Intensive Care Unit. And that's the protocol that we run under. So we're gonna choose that. And then we're gonna choose slot A. And then we get to choose the medication. So we'll page down and we're gonna look for norepinephrine. It'll be in here by generic name, not brand name. You can see all the medications that can be programmed in. And there it is, norepinephrine. We'll skim down and we'll choose that. And we know that our dose is going to be two micrograms per minute. And they give us this uh, nice little chart here so that we know uh, what to put in as far as numbers go. So we're going to put in two micrograms per minute. The rate is 7.5 milliliters per hour. The computer knows that. It's pre-programmed. We slide down to volume to be infused, VTBI. And this is a 250 cc bag. So we'll say 250. That means that the pump is allowed to pump the entire bag in. Now you may want to choose 50 milliliters, 100 milliliters, whatever suits you for the situation. After that's selected, we want to hit start to confirm. We say yes for start delivery. And you can see that it's pumping because it says pumping here. And this little drop shows a flashing green light. If you listen really carefully, you can also hear like a, almost like a second hand of a clock ticking. And that's the pump of each drip. 
to stop, you just hit the stop button, of course. And if we want to say there's air bubbles or something we want to back prime out of, what we'll do is we will uh, cleanse the port up here, put in a normal saline syringe, and then we can hit the back prime button. But we can also clear line A if we choose as well. So we can do that and we can say program, yes, clear, and we can clear and we can start all over again and adjust our drip or start a different drip. When you're through and you want to take the pump off, uh, you want, you can, of course, it's stopped. You can just hit the off button. Of course, you want to make sure everything clamped is clamped on the IV line so you don't get a runaway line if it's still connected to your patient, etc. Pop the lever up, remove the cartridge, throw everything away or transfer to another pump, close the door and latch so no debris gets in there, and we're finished. I hope you've learned something out of this video. And as always, again, check your own equipment. Make sure you know how your piece of equipment operates. Happy IV pump infusing. Goodbye for now.